People in Putney are wondering what's next after one of the town's largest employers shut down this week with almost no warning. NBC 5's Sibule explains how the loss of the paper mill will impact their town. 127 people will now need to find a new job after they were laid off this week at the Putney Paper Mill. The building is owned by Soundview Vermont Holdings LLC and it was one of the largest employers in the area. Putney will survive. Uh, Putney is a story of resilience. After more than 150 years in operation, Putney's paper mill is now closed. Residents say the mill has had its challenges in the past, but no one expected this. It's a shock. I mean, they've had troubles with fires and the new oil spill recently, uh, but closing permanently on, sh you know, no notice at all was a shock to everybody around here. The mill's owner, Soundview Vermont Holdings LLC, announced the closure Tuesday morning before staff arrived for work. The decision coming as a surprise to the 127 employees and the Department of Labor. I uh, did not give a whole lot of detail as to the reasons why, but um, said that it would be immediate. You know, there's some concern that they've been left out to dry. The company is providing 60 days of pay and benefits to staff. Meantime, the Department of Labor is working to help everyone with the transition. Maybe they're interested in just simply looking for a new job and more work, or they want to uh, maybe change careers and um, go through a retraining process. Um, but at the very least, they could also be uh, simply filing for benefits as they're going through uh, this transitionary period. With ongoing labor shortages in Vermont, the office is working to connect every person with new employment. If you're an affected worker, uh, you can reach out to our offices and your local office. There isn't a local office in Brattleboro and there's one in Springfield as well. Uh, and they can uh, either walk in, they can call us or email um, and we will help provide you with the services you need. At this time, there's no plan for the future of the building itself, but given that it is over 150 years old, many are hoping that it will be repurposed. In Putney, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.